It's a growing problem for federal investigators. Scam artists are getting your Social Security number and address and then stealing your tax refund. Tonight, we reveal what the IRS is doing about this costly problem. Despite a year of hard work, Sarah Mandunicki's financial future is up in the air. It's very frustrating, very frustrating because you work for something and it's owed to you and then someone else can just go right under there and just take it from you. The IRS rejected Sarah's tax return this year. She says the IRS told her someone else already used her Social Security number to file a return. This IRS tax return transcript shows a return with her Social Security number using a different mailing address. Plus, the dependent listed on the return would have been born when Sarah was just two years old. It doesn't really add up. The return still went through. Five months later, Sarah is still trying to get answers and a tax refund of more than $3,000. They just aren't very cooperative and not helping with me with any of this. And Sarah is not alone. Testimony from three other identity theft victims at a congressional subcommittee led the IRS commissioner to issue an apology. It shouldn't take a year and a half, and we should get better at sorting this through. The IRS told the Government Accountability Office that it's difficult to screen every return for fraud and says there are trade offs if they add more restrictive screening. If the IRS compares returns from year to year looking for significant changes, it would cause refund delays for innocent taxpayers. Because because millions of people move and change jobs every year. Well, I think the pin I mentioned yeah. um, is going to be one of the real solutions. The IRS is now evaluating the use of a six-digit pin for taxpayers to file a return, but it's just a pilot program. Anything would make it better, especially with a pin that only certain people have. Once someone else has your Social Security number, it can take years to unravel the mess. Privacy issues make it unlawful to share such information, but hackers gain access to it anyway. So victims like Sarah may always wonder how their Social Security number was stolen and when it will be used again. It's going to be something that's going to haunt me. Now, the IRS admits a small number of cases have led to a criminal investigation, so protection is the key, and we have tips and steps you need to take if you're a victim on our website at abcactionnews.com.